fan of my next guest. And, you know, to some people, like the Avengers, they're action heroes. To anybody who knows food, well, this is our action hero. Check him out. One for you, one for me. Oh, can we breathe? All right. I'm nervous. <laughs> A circle. It's good. This is San Marzano tomato. San Marzano. Look at that. Buffalo cheese. Basil. Basil. Go in the oven. One minute. One 60 minute. Second. 60 seconds. Oh, look at this beauty. This is my, this is yours. I think mine looks a little bit better. I don't know. You Go tell on. me. But I don't... She set me up properly. How are you? I am terrific. We were just saying that um, one of the young ladies who works on our culinary staff, DJ, they were just talking about being back there, and they were having so much we fun. We bonded. We bonded. She took good care of me here. Now, listen, if people don't know you, tell them how you got your name, first of all. Well, you know, my name was from my grandfather. We used to watch VHS tapes growing <laughs> up, eight years old, watching Death Wish, <laughs> you know, with Charles Bronson. It made me the man who I am today, so... I we're right here, by the we're way. We're right, right here. here. Yeah. I had to, I Let's feel see. like I had to pay homage to my grandfather and the great Charles Bronson by taking that name. It's so cool. Thank you very so much. So cool. One of the many reasons I love you. So, the last time we saw each other, we were just talking backstage when I actually begged him to come to this show. We were doing a show with Mario Batali and Danny mm -hmm. and Mary Giuliani. It was outside in it, this time of year, exactly one year ago, like this week. It was like four degrees. It was so it was ridiculous. cold. Ridiculous. I needed this. Oh, and crazy. by the way, it was my first public speaking for any type of food event. It was really surreal being on stage with you guys. It was like, fun, though. I really used to lay on the couch with my mother, like, say, like just watching everybody, and it was it was really a treat. Well, it's so cool to have you here. Thank I'm you. such a huge fan. Thank you. And Viceland is the coolest channel. That's right. So today you're going to be making explosive chicken. This has been something that I've been fiending for, like, nonstop. I had it in, in San Francisco. And it, it just, I love my mouth to be numb for the, you know, not for Me the too. wrong reasons. No, no, I love, you no, know seriously, what I mean. like Sichuan pepper yes. makes your, gives you Angelina Jolie lips. And it makes your tongue <laughs> nice and pouty. like all tingly. It's and beautiful. It's thing. like, it's sexy. It's it is. good. It's all good. It's incredible. Mm. So let's get going a little bit on this, and then I, I will pepper in yes, some banter for you, my friend. So we have some uh, boneless chicken thighs right here that we just cube up. I just think it's more interesting than breast. It tastes more delicious and it's more, it, it gathers more, more depth fla of flavor. Exactly. Absolutely. So what we do is we have some marinated here. We have half rice wine vinegar, half a cup of uh, soy sauce, and just leave it for about a half hour to two hours, whatever Let's you want. Let's start working on exactly. it and breaking it down. Not too long though. You don't want to overpower anything. You drain it. We got some, now we start on a dredge. Gotcha. Some rice flour. Boom. Some cornstarch. Boom. Boom. Some club soda. Seltzer. Slam. <laughs> he want... is not, you know, this is the real deal. This man is a huge rap artist and a proper chef for, what, more than a decade? At least. At, At least. least. At least. And tell people how your concerts roll, what the experience is like if they come to one of your shows. Well, it's kind of like a pro wrestling match that's <laughs> involved, you know, like there's a lot of extreme stuff. I throw a lot of things out into the crowd also because I'm very thankful. Such Call as? It, like flat screen TVs. La <laughs> last time I was there, I threw out about 30 different Breville products, a George Foreman grill. Because I, I feel like everyone needs I would not want to get clocked with a George Foreman grill, but I that is so gently, cool. Gently. <laughs> Gentle. <laughs> That's it. So we okay, drain so the chicken. Okay, so you make the dredge. We dredge it in here. Yeah. You want it to be kind of porridgey, kind of like a pancake batter. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So we have some already done. And we got which some is incredible. These little guys right here. Oh, we're gonna take. I'm gonna drop some more. I could put some in there. Yeah, in that the would bat. be beautiful. I love getting my fingers filthy. Thank you very much. All right, much. now when does it get explosive? It gets explosive <laughs> right about now. We're gonna take these over here. Just toss them in this Szechuan peppercorn and sugar. That's and the stuff that gives you the Angelina Jolie lips and makes your tongue numb in it. a good way. Listen, we could stop here, but we're mm. not gonna stop here. 
No, you gotta keep it going. You gotta keep it going. We're gonna come over here to this wok where we have a little bit of oil going. Which, right, right, right. What flame is this? This one? That one there. That one there. Right, Turn cool. the other. There you go. Boom. We're gonna start with a little bit of scallion in the pan just to get it going. Gotcha. To get some flavors going. Ooh, that's yeah. so sexy. I'm Come standing on. right next to him. Come on. <laughs> Vice Land is so going. amazing. If you guys have not checked out this channel, I mean, I've been a fan of Vice for years, but Vice Land, it is riveting. Is there anything left on your foodie global bucket list that you haven't done yet? A well, place you're today, dying to go? After today, no. Oh this my God. It. This was it. This was it. That's sexy. I'm winning. <laughs> oh my God, that smells amazing. We're explosive right now. Woo, that smells so good. Woo. Mm. This is where it's at. Oh, man. Was there anything you wouldn't eat as a little kid? Everything I wouldn't eat. I only ate really? a bagel with cheese. Now, that shocks Bagel me. Oh, with cheese and a hamburger. When we were doing, my brain was frozen because it was so cold outside. But you said that that day when Can we were talking it? about it, when you were a little kid. And he brings his mom and his dog with him, like, everywhere he goes. That's <laughs> my kind of man. <laughs> my lady. That's, that's right. right. Your lady. We kid. We stay, we stay close knit. That's right. It's a close knit thing. And, and my best friend was my grandpa when I was little. So That's we amazing. are right, I mean, everything. We're right, right here. So we're done. Oh, that smells so That's good. That's right. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Oh. Come on now. Hey, let's Please. share one bowl. Please, no, that's Come on, get in here. That's for you. you I want no, you to taste it first. I want it. I'm you not, first. No. We're Come doing on. it together. I'm not doing it all. All right, ready? Cheers. All right. Mmm, Bob. Mmm. That's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> um, blank, that's delicious. That's right. There's Thursdays at 10 p.m. on Viceland. You watch it once, you will watch it religiously for life. Forever. I love you so much. I you love come you back and cook with me again. Anytime. Anytime. Delicious. This is a dream. <laughs>